Um, Professor Heatwave, maybe we could just go along for part of the trip. Uh, yeah. Space travel doesn't really work that way. But we could help with the mission. We could hand you tools or get you snacks if you ate. Look, someday you'll go up in the Sigma with us. But not this time. The mission's too risky. We love risky missions. Providing they have a probable outcome of success. The Asgard space station lost power. We'll be replacing its cables on the outside of the ship. We're ready to try a spacewalk, sir. It's the try part I'm worried about. One wrong step, and you'll drift off into space forever. Sorry, there's no room for error. It's just too dangerous for unseasoned recruits. But what if something goes wrong and you need our help? <laughs> we'll be sure to let you know. In the meantime, think of it as a learning opportunity. You can watch on the monitors, see how each bot contributes to the mission in their own way. Yeah, not quite as exciting as blasting into space. Stay here. Keep an eye on things. If an emergency comes up, call Chief Burns in Griffin Rock. <sighs> oh well. Next time. And we're supposed to be learning what, exactly? This isn't learning. It's just rubbing it in that the rescue bots wouldn't bring us along. Come on, let's go through the lobbing ball around. Uh, let me know if anything educational happens. Wait for us. Hoist and I had plans to go online and do some collecting for our Earth Museum. <laughs> On the internet, no one knows you're an alien robot. Your username might be a tip off. Alien Robot 11? There were already 10 others. <sighs> ah, well. I can use the time to reorganize my files. Haven't done it since yesterday. The landing alert. For a risky mission, that didn't take long. What's going on? Maybe we should take a look inside? But where are the rescue bots? We better search the ship. Shouldn't we call Chief Burns before we do anything? Those were Heat Wave's instructions. Right. You call him while we look around. Stasis pods are empty. The controls are on autopilot. That's how it flew here without them. Rest of the ship's empty too. Our teachers must have gotten into trouble. But they said they'd send us a message if they needed our help. Maybe the ship is the message. Letting us know they're in danger! But what kind? A black hole? Random asteroids? Aliens! I mean, bad aliens. Very odd. Chief Burns answered, but said he was not available. Then he beeped at me. Rather rudely, I might add. That may have been his voicemail. Either way, it's clearly up to us. Our teachers need our help. But even if they do, how do we find them to help? There, that's the location the rescue bot sent the ship from. They wouldn't have left that map on the computer unless they wanted us to see it. And use it to bring the Sigma back to save them. Heatwave told us to stay in the Academy and keep an eye on things. <sighs> Fine. But I'm letting our teachers know this wasn't my idea. Okay then, let's fly. Um, anybody know how we launched this thing? Heatwave always drives from the big chair. Hmm. Hey! What are you doing? I'm piloting the ship. Look, I'm the obvious choice because I can actually fly. So can Whirl. <clears throat> you two fly yourselves. I know how to fly ships. I just gotta figure out which of these buttons starts the... Try this one. Whoa! Oh! Guys, hate to tell you, but the coordinates must have been erased when we launched. So, we don't know where we need to go? This is your fault, Hotshot. Don't blame me. At least I got us launched. Of all the impatient bots I've ever well, met. Well, you're the one who Guys. wanted to pilot Guys! 
We're out here for a reason, remember? We'll never save our teachers by arguing. We need to work together and figure out how to get back on course. I believe this instruction manual may help. You had that all There's along? There's a manual? Ahem. If I can have a little quiet, I'll be able to find out how to retrieve the coordinates. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Don't everyone thank me at once. Okay, I'll go first. Thanks, medics. Wedge, your turn. Um, I know the blue dot is us and the X is where we're going, but does anybody know what these things are? I'm guessing maybe those? What does the book say? Incoming objects. Here, station one. Engage emergency shields. That's the red switch at station one. Red switch, shields are on. Next, we override the coordinates at station two. Station two, that's me. Find the blue disengage button. Disengage, disengage, got it. Wait, while simultaneously locking guidance system at station three. Ready, hoist. One, two, three, lock. Disengaged. All right, step three, start evasive maneuver. But it doesn't say how. Evasive maneuver? That I know. Everyone, sit down and hang on. Re-engaging autopilot. Good work, team. We did it. All I did was press a button a couple of times. There are no small jobs, just small buttons. Right. It took all of us working together. So, does that mean we can take turns in the chair? Maybe on the way back. I can't wait to tell Professor Heatwave what a great job we did. It looks like you won't have to. Sigma, calling Heatwave. Heatwave, come in. Are they okay? Zoom in a little more. Why aren't they answering? Ah, uh, thank Primus. You made it. Yes! And I'd like to go on record, Professor Heatwave, as saying that I was against disobeying orders. Well, in this case, I'm glad you did. Um, I am as well, sir. In fact, overjoyed. Now, bring the Sigma a little closer and release the tractor winch. Yes, sir! Um, tractor winch button? Anybody? What does it look no like? No idea. Who has the manual? I got it. No! no! Ah! What? I told you I had it. We're in position. Hold it steady, Bridge. Steady and ready, Freddy. Um, I know your name's not Freddy, but just go with the rhyme, okay? Affirmative, Betty. Position locked, Hoist. You sure you're up for this? I could go out there too, you know? Yeah, but I've got built-in steering, see? My sonic blasters. Ah! Rescuing our teachers has got to be worth extra credit, right? Let's wait on that until we're actually in the ship. Yay! Yes! Rescue bot recruits! Targets recovered, Wedge. Reel us in. Not bad, recruit. Once we finished our repairs, the space station started rotating again. We hadn't counted on that. We were stuck outside and couldn't reach the Sigma, but I could still control it remotely. So I figured the best thing was to send the ship home as a message. I knew it! We weren't sure you'd figure it out, or how to get the ship here. Not everybody was sure you wanted us to. But once we all agreed and put our heads together... We did it as a team! You did a fine job. We'll take it one mission at a time, sir. And now that we all know our jobs, it'll be a lot easier next time. Dangling in space all that time took a little bit out of us. We're going to hit the stasis pods on the way back. So, does that mean...? Take us home, team. Don't worry, everybody. I got this. No! Oh, wow. Stand back! We're coming through! Yeah! Woohoo! 
what a rescue. The way you kicked through that vault wedge, bam. Seriously impressive. Yeah, but did you see Hoist? <laughs> well, if it wasn't for medics, I would have been stranded. That is an accurate assessment. One thing's for sure, the bigger the rescue, the better we get. <gasps> Oops, <laughs> sorry, Professor Boulder. Didn't see you there. When you're my size, that doesn't happen too often. Think you recruits can take a break from training for a real mission? Is Cybertron made of metal? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's what you meant. I have to warn you, this rescue will be a huge challenge. Those are our favorite kind. Then follow me to the Space Bridge. Awesome! Right. Hey. Space Bridge? We're leaving Earth? This mission is important. Ooh, ooh, I bet we're gonna stop an asteroid from hitting a planet. Or saving mining ships near Orion before kaboom! A supernova obliterates the area. Perhaps we will be protecting the giant moon of Gygas from the event horizon of a black hole. <gasps> or maybe it's all of those things! I'll tell you more when we arrive. Hurry, we don't have much time. Where... where are we? The rock planet of Parvis. All its life is underground down here. <gasps> Doesn't seem like a very safe place to call home. Exactly. Quakes have made these caves unstable. That's why we're here. To save the Galax. We're going to rescue an entire galaxy? The Galax is a singular plant. What? We came all this way for that? I mean, there's only one left. It's the last of its kind, and it's counting on you for its survival. That does sound like a big responsibility. Our mission is to dig up the Galax and bring it safely back to Earth. I am unclear. Why does that require six bots? The cave can just about hold five bots. If I go with you, my larger size could cause a catastrophic cave-in. We got this. How hard can it be to grab a plant? You were saying? <laughs> that was way too close. No plants are getting smushed on my watch. And I don't even wear one. Stand back! World, stop! What happened? I was just going to change into my helicopter mode. That's the problem. This cavern is too unstable for any big moves or transformations. We'll have to stay in bot mode for this rescue. So how do we get down there? I think I have an idea. Still not close enough to grab it. How's it going, recruits? Well, we're near the plant, but we're not sure what to do next. Try to find the gentlest way to dig it up. So, we need to think small to make big things happen. Small to be big, small to be big. <gasps> Maybe we can dig up the plant with water. Try it, Hotshot. Hope you're thirsty, little guy. Stop, that's too powerful. You're doing more harm than good. Huh? Oh, oops. Sorry, little guy. Ah, uh, one of us has to get closer. And by one of us, I mean Wedge. What? Why me? Because you're the one with the most digging experience. <laughs> look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. Just a little bit further, Wedge. You're doing great. Please don't talk to me right now. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what do you say we make like a Galax plant and leaf? Ah! Ah! That looks like a no. Pull me up! Pull me up! Ew, what is that? At least we're closer now. Not sure that's a good thing. Fascinating. A surprisingly strong web-like substance. It must be the plant's way to ward off enemies. But we're not its enemies. We are trying to save it. Checking in. 
Is everyone all right? Did you get the Galax yet? Um, not exactly. But we have made first contact. Try to hurry if you can. When startled, the Galax has a sticky, strong spray. Yeah, we noticed. Maybe I can tow the plant free. If you do that, you might damage its roots. We need to dig the Galax up before we attempt to move it. Small to be big. Small to be big. Ah, oh, that's it! We're just too big for this gig. We can't transform, and our tech is too strong. We need mini versions of ourselves. That is impossible, unless one of you has a shrink ray. I mean, we need tiny tools that do the same thing we do. These are too powerful for a little plant. But if I had mini rotors, they'd be perfect for the job. Yeah, we need galaxized versions of our cool tools. I can make those, but I might need a little help. Do you think he knows what he's doing? I hope so. For all our sakes. And that's how it should work. Any questions? 752. But I'll save them for later. Let's do this thing! Like my wind rotors, but tiny. <sighs> I'm trying to help you. <sighs> ah! uh, hold tight, buddy. Nice save. Sure, it doesn't spray you. Oh, hey there, little fella. Aren't you the cutest? Don't worry, we're taking you to a new home. Galax is in hand, Professor Boulder. We are on our way back up. I may have spoken too soon. I'll send you a new route. This should get you out safely. Received. Take it slow, but be as fast as you can. Small to be big, slow to be fast? Does any part of this mission make sense? The saving a whole species part. Hotshot, you and Hoy stay with me to keep our way clear. Wedge and Whirl, protect that plant. Go on. You know you want to say it. Rescue bot recruits, roll to the rescue! Feels good. Talk about being between a rock and a hard place. Why would you talk about that? He means we're stuck between two really hard situations. Then why didn't he just say that? And now we're really stuck. Uh, Professor Boulder, is there another way out of this place? Oh, we must be too far underground for a comm signal. I can clear the way with my shovel, but transforming is too dangerous. So is staying here. Get ready to run, everybody. Go, Whirl! Don't worry, I got you. Cave's instability will hold for another few minutes, but... But? This path is made of limestone, which has had years of water and carbonic acid dissolving it. What does that mean? It means watch out for sinkholes! Yeah! Whoa! What? Good thing we stuck together, huh, little fella? Okay, plant. I take back everything bad I said about you. Go, 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 go! The way out is blocked! Welcome back, recruits. Nice job. This has got to be the biggest small rescue we've ever done. It was epic. Amazing! And completely unpredictable. What do you say we go home, little guy? So, how's our favorite Galax doing? I think it could use a little company. Hey there, buddy. You sprayed anyone lately? Remember us? Your best friends? Whoa! I guess there really is no such thing as a small rescue. To the one you're saving, it's the biggest thing in the world.
recruits. After you've cleaned up in here, can you all meet me at the Sigma launch pad? We're going on a satellite repair mission. Excellent. We can dispose of some of the trash here, but most of it can be recycled. Come on, Hotshot. The recycling machine is this way. Sure thing. Right behind you. <laughs> Make that ahead of you. Okay, recruits. We're approaching the crippled satellite. Go and pack the tools and parts we need for the repair. Whoever's ready first can help Dr. Sigma. Yeah. Yeah. What's the triangle mean? It means the packaging is recyclable. All done. Not before you take your trash to the recycler. Too far. I've got a ship to pilot. Hotshot, what are you doing? What's one bit of trash in the infinity of space? Hey, Hotshot, wait for us. I'm only doing what he did. The recycler is really far. His argument does have logic. But it's hardly only one piece. If you all just keep... <sighs> I'm impressed with how fast you all were. Hotshot Whirl, will you take the pilot and co-pilot seats? When we get closer, Hoist, I want you on radar. And medics, you'll guide them in. Roger that. Wedge, I'm surprised. Your teammates were twice as fast as you. Oh, that's because... Because Wedge did twice as much unpacking as the rest of us, sir. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I apologize. Good work. The wing of the satellite is full of holes, sir. What caused that? Space junk. What space junk? Pieces of old Earth rockets, broken satellite parts, even trash left by astronauts. This stuff just hangs in orbit circling the Earth. Okay, team. Prepare to pull alongside the satellite. Look at the Earth! It's so beautiful! Amazing! Totally worth protecting. What island is that, sir? In the middle of the Pacific? It's not on any map that I remember. It's trash. Trash Island. Hmm. Never heard of it. No. Sadly, I mean it's actual trash. If we can see it from space, there must be a lot of it. Miles of it. And the worst part is, it's damaging the oceans and hurting the wildlife. Ugh, so sad. And preventable, which makes it even sadder. It's all stuff that could have been disposed of properly. Why didn't the humans recycle it? Because some people can't be bothered or think that recycling is somebody else's responsibility. And when too many people do it, that's the result. But thankfully, that doesn't apply to you guys. Ah. <clears throat> hmm. Exterior door opening. Whoa, that's high. I forgot you were afraid of heights, Wedge. How about you fetch parts? Medics can tell you what to get. Gladly. Hoist, you reel parts out to me on your cable. And Hotshot and Whirl, hold the Sigma steady. Steady as a rock, Professor. feeling guilty about not disposing of that trash properly. Do you think we should tell Boulder? Have you got space rust in your logic circuits? It was just a small amount. Besides, it's not like we'll ever see it again. Something unidentified is incoming. Professor, I think there's a comet or a meteor coming our way. I assure you, world, there are no comets or meteors coming. We track those things far in advance, and nothing is scheduled. I'm afraid you are both correct. Something is coming, but it is not a comet. What is it? It appears to be a giant ball of, um, space junk. Where in the name of Primus did that come from? I think the more pressing question is, where is it going? And from my calculations, it's on a collision course with the satellite. Sir, you need to get back into the Sigma and we need to undock. Not an option, Hotshot. We must protect the satellite. 
Its job is to relay vital medical information between doctors around the world. But look at the size of it. There's no way we can stop that thing. So if we can't stop it, we need to change its trajectory. Medics is right. Even one degree of change means it misses the satellite. Physics dictates that it must be met with an equal and opposite force. Meaning what? We hit it with something. We only need to shove it one degree. But what do we hit it with? We haven't got anything heavy enough. You've got me. You need something shoved? I'm your boss. Stand back. Going to be close, recruits. Hold on. Huh? Wedge, you did it! Amazing! Time to let go, buddy. Wedge, let go! I'm trying, guys, but I'm stuck. Don't panic, Wedge. Everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine. I've calculated the junk ball's new trajectory, and it's going to fall into the Earth's upper atmosphere. Uh, medics? I can still hear you. Apologies, Wedge. One moment. So what happens when it hits the atmosphere? It will be destroyed. It'll be what? Ain't gonna happen, Wedge. Boulder, we have to go after him. Agreed. Take the Sigma. I'll stay here and finish the satellite repair. Hang in there, Wedge. We're coming. Good luck, recruits. So, what's the plan? We'll fly alongside the ball, and medics will spacewalk out to Wedge, secured by Hoist's cable. It's a good plan, but the Sigma's not fast enough. She's right. At this velocity, we won't catch up in time to save him. We need more speed. What are you going to do? We need speed? It's my middle name. Wedge, you can let go of me. Uh, not till somebody closes that door, I'm not. <laughs> you okay back there, Hot Shots? I'm fine. Let's get back to Boulder. Team, that was a spectacular rescue. However, I still don't understand where that junk Boulder came from. It was me, Professor. I was in so much of a hurry to do the fun stuff that I just threw my trash into space rather than dispose of it properly. We all did, sir. All except Wedge. We didn't realize the harm that carelessly disposed of trash could cause, and we're sorry. I see. I won't pretend I'm not disappointed, but the satellite is repaired, and you all learned an important lesson. So all in all, it was a successful mission. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So remind me, is this recycling? Uh-huh. I can understand the other recruits doing this, but why is Wedge? He volunteered. He understands it's everyone's responsibility to dispose of trash properly, even if the trash isn't yours. <gasps> ah! <laughs> yes, Chuck. That's recycling, too. <laughs> well, quite a welcoming committee. 
I assume this means your homework's done. Uh, uh um, was the mission a success? Did you find any energon? Not sure yet. We collected some samples from the asteroid, but we still have to run some tests. I like the one with the stripes. May we assist with the testing? Or even just check them out? Look at that one. It's glowing. Weird. Until Boulder can find out more about these, it'll be better if you just stay away from them. I'm putting them in my office for safekeeping. If anybody's going to take a risk, it'll be us. Now get back to your martial arts assignment. A few more adjustments and... There! I've turned Chuck into the perfect self-defense practice partner. Who wants to go first? Let's see what you got, buddy. Well, how am I supposed to spar with him when he's doing this? He's not sparring, he's dancing. Uh-oh. Yeah, but he's really good at it. It is quite impressive. Congratulations, Hoist. Not exactly what I had in mind. Recruits. Um, sorry, Professor Heatwave, but Chuck and I are kind of... I have more important things to discuss. One of the rock samples we brought back is missing from my desk. How what? did that happen? Which one? The weird glowing one. The rock hotshot mm -hmm. liked? Exactly. With all due respect, sir, perhaps you just misplaced it. No, and it couldn't have just stood up on my desk and walked away on its own, could it? So somebody must have taken it, and it wasn't me or Boulder. Maybe it was a prank. Maybe it was an accident. It doesn't matter. Just prove to me that you know how to do the right thing. Return the rock by the end of the day. I won't ask any questions, and no one will be punished. If it's not, well, then all of you will be. Even Chuck? <sighs> all right, Hotshot. Just put the rock back before we all get in trouble. What? You're blaming me? You were admiring it earlier. That doesn't mean I took it. Besides, Wedge, we've been together the whole time since Heatwave got back. Almost the whole time. We went our separate ways briefly before gathering back here for Hoist's, um, demonstration. Right. So why don't you just tell the truth? I didn't take the rock. And, you know, I gotta say, I'm kind of insulted that you think I would steal and lie. I believe you, Hotshot. I don't think he did it. Why not? I can tell his feelings are really hurt, and I can see why. You're supposed to be his friends, and friends should trust each other. Imagine what that's like. I know I wouldn't like being treated that way, so I believe him. You're right. I'm sorry, Hotshot. I shouldn't have judged you so quickly. It's okay. I just want to find the rock and prove that none of us did it. But logically, it has to be one of us. Or maybe there's a different explanation. Right! I say we follow Heatwave's advice, work together to find the rock, and prove none of us took it! Yes! Great idea! All for one! We can cover more ground quicker if we split up. Chuck, you stay here. Ah! Got it! Right next to Hotshot's gear. Maybe I was a little too quick to apologize to him. Wedge, you found it! And rather quickly, I might add. Almost like you knew exactly where it was. What are you talking about? I found it right here, next to Hotshot's stuff. And you're accusing me? Hotshot said he didn't take it, and I believe him. But you don't believe me. I am merely relying on the evidence in front of me, which is... The evidence right here says... Where'd the rock go? Hotshot, he took it again! Aha! Now, try to tell us that you don't have the rock. Okay, I don't have the rock. But where could it be? Don't ask me. I'm more confused than ever. We found it! They found it. Uh, 
Who put it there? It was here when Hoist and I came in. Something strange is definitely going on. Look, I don't care who or what or why. We found it. That's the important thing. So I'm just going to return the thing to Heat Wave and... What is that? Not like any rock I've ever seen. That's because it's obviously not a rock. It must be some sort of space creature. Heatwave must have thought it was a rock and brought it back by accident. We better catch that thing before it causes more trouble. Which Heatwave will blame us for. Come on, check the hallway, look upstairs and down. door, I'll grab it when it runs out. Ready? One, two, three! Where'd he go? We thought he was in there. He was, but he got away and then... Come on! Shot, I pushed it already. Yeah, but pushing it a lot makes it get here faster. I'm not sure that's how it works. Sure, he can walk on walls, remember? Yeah, every time we go near him, he manages to get away. Well, that's it. Stop, everybody. Don't go near him. What are you talking about? Like Whirl said before, imagine what it's like to be him. Well, if a bunch of strangers were running after me, I'd try to get away too. Maybe he's only running because we're chasing him. We don't want to hurt you, buddy. <laughs> He's probably just as afraid of us as we are of him. We just want to say hello. See? We're friendly. Hey, look! He likes being scratched behind his ear. You know, if he had an ear. You're right. Little Rock Dude probably just wants to go home. Poor little guy. Can you imagine going to sleep in outer space, then waking up on a completely different planet? I bet Professor Heatwave knows exactly what that's like. Yeah, we just need to explain it all to him. Heatwave's not here. We'll just put our new buddy back, like he said. What's going on? Well, what do you know? You did it. And I'll keep my promise. No questions asked. I have a feeling you might have one or two. You see, Professor Heatwave, this rock you brought back... I said I don't need explanations. I'll take the specimen to the lab and examine it there. But, Professor Heatwave... Get back to training, all of you. Huh. All this trouble over a silly rock. What in Cybertron? We tried to tell him. I guess I was wrong. He did sprout legs and walk off by himself. Thanks for finding him, team. Bye, little Have rock life dude. life on your asteroid. Ah! A hand? Wow. He's full of surprises, isn't he? Hey oh, wow. Did 
Should you go crazy for construction vehicles? Do you dig diggers? Then get yourself down to DigFest, just outside of Milford. DigFest, not just a whoa, it's a whoa! That's better. I could hardly hear myself think. Whoa! Ugh. I thought I'd lost this. It's my old scrapbook, full of all my best cube wins back on Cybertron. You know, I kind of forget how famous you were. One day, I'm going to take you guys to a game and introduce you to the crowd. No, thanks, Hotshot, but all those lights, all those screaming fans, it's not really my thing. Ah, uh, you know Wedge. He doesn't even like having his picture taken. Because some of us don't care about the fame. <laughs> what matters is that we get the job done. But if we get famous on top of that, it's a win-win. Right, Chief? I have a mission for you, if you're not too busy being famous. Recruits, what you see is a top-secret communications satellite. Boulder helped develop it with the Griffin Rock space team. Boulder filled that thing with so much Cybertron tech, it could almost enroll at the academy. And that's the problem. Because we don't have a big enough classroom? Earlier today, the satellite was coming in for maintenance, but three pieces broke off during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Looks like they landed out in the desert, near Milford. Your mission is to rescue the pieces before the Cybertron tech is discovered by humans. We can do that! No yeah. problem! I'm counting on you. Recruits, roll to the rescue. According to calculations, those pieces of satellite fell somewhere around here. I can't see anything. Let's do a search on foot while there's no humans around. And I can use this scanner I made. It detects any Cybertron tech in the area. Um, aren't we Cybertron tech? Oops. <laughs> right. Uh, I'll just adjust the sensitivity settings and... Bingo. There. That's a piece of satellite, all right. Nice going, Hoist. Yeah, well, personally, I'd like to rely on my finely tuned instincts. These eyes are better than any homemade scanning device. Oh! <laughs> Don't know about the eyes, but you did find a piece of satellite. <sighs> hey, medics, what are those weird lights? Hmm. It appears to be dig fest. That dreadful, noisy thing that was on the television. No way! We're near DigFest? We should totally check it out. You know, for strategic research purposes. Or we could stay focused on the mission. There's still one more piece of satellite to find, remember? Yeah, but what if it landed near that arena? If it did, with so many humans inside, there'd be not a moment to lose. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Wow! This place is awesome! Which is weird, because usually construction vehicles are kind of boring. No offense, Wedge. None taken. Can we please just find the missing piece of satellite, then get out of here? Psst, you guys! Over here! No sign of any Cybertron tech here. That's it, then. We're leaving. Now, don't you go anywhere, Dig fans, because right now, it's the all-digging, all-dancing Dig Display Team! Construction vehicles dancing? Man, we gotta see this! Guys, focus. We've got a job to do, remember? Now, let's go. By my analysis, a few more minutes won't hurt. Ugh! Uh-oh, is it me or is that bigger dancing kind of funny? That's not dancing, it's out of control! <gasps> it could crash into the humans! We gotta do something! Wedge? Close one. Whoever you are, buddy, I want to shake your hand. Oh, uh, listen, it, it was nothing. Whoa! Slow your roll there, fella. 
I'm sure everyone here wants to meet the amazing driver of this skip loader. Ain't that right, folks? Uh-oh. Wedge is going to so not like being the center of attention. That's the least of his worries. What if they realize he doesn't have a driver? I was just doing what any other driver would do. I'm just glad no one got hurt. You're not the first driver who was a little publicity shy. But at least tell us your name for when folks want an autograph. An autograph? Me? It's... it's Wedge. My name's Wedge. You hear that, folks? Give it up for the new mystery star of Digfest, Wedge! 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 Is it just me, or is Wedge starting to enjoy this? Hey! I'm picking up Cybertron tech, and it's... Uh-oh. Not good. Where is it? I can't see a piece of satellite. No? Try looking in the arena. Uh-oh. Okay, the good news is the crowd hasn't seen it yet. The bad news is we're gonna need Wedge's bucket to dig it out. I'm on it. Hey, Wedge, listen up. We found what we're looking for, and it's in the arena. Maybe he just didn't hear you, but we need to get his attention quickly. And I've got an idea. Come on, Wedge! Look this way! Now, Wedge, how about you take part in the next event? The Every Digger for Himself Freestyle Showdown! Has he, uh, seen, the uh, flags? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, you mean me? Doing freestyle in front of the whole crowd. <laughs> He'll never do it. Bring it on. What? 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 Way to go, Wedge! The rules are simple. Each driver has to perform tricks until asked to leave. Last vehicle in the arena wins! Man, these guys look good. In three, two, one, freestyle! Cybertron tech for sure. Holy dump trucks, did you folks see that? Wedge just did a barrel roll right over his competitors. Oh no! Number two is trying it and boom! He's bitten the dust. Look at Wedge go! Who does he think he is? Hot shot? Should I be offended by that? Number one is on two wheels! I don't know how anyone can beat. No, I spoke too soon. So that's good night, competitor number one. This is too close. Mission failure absolutely imminent. And there are just two vehicles left. And right now it's neck and neck. Or is it? Because it looks like Wedge is going for the big one. He is. It's a triple backwards bucket flip somersault. And... Oh, my. Wipe out! Ouch. And the winner is number three! I can't see Wedge. Where is he? He landed really hard! I'm going out there. Wait, here he comes! Well, I hope you're pleased with yourself, Wedge. I can't believe you forgot the mission. And ignored all our attempts at communication! Guys, I think maybe we should ask Wedge if he's okay first. Thank you, Hoist. I'm fine. Indeed. Wedge is 100% A-OK. -okay. But how? That totally not cool wipeout had to hurt. It would have, if I didn't know what I was doing. I did hear your call about the missing piece of satellite and saw you waving that flag. You crashed on purpose. I figured it was the only way to get close enough to that piece of the satellite without the humans noticing. Most Please. impressive. I can't believe you turned your back on all that fame. When it came down to it, we got the job done. That's better than seeing my face on any big screen. That's our wedge, all right. Besides, 
I can always get the trophy next year. What? You're what? Oh, Primus. Can you pass me a number three sonic wrench, please, Heatwave? Thank you, Cody. Your help working on these small circuits is invaluable. As you see, with hands my size. Cody! This is Hoist! Please respond! Over! I can hear you, Hoist. No need to shout. Aw, that's disappointing. I was trying to make a new comm system that humans can't hear. I based it on some Earth tech I found. I call them talky squawkies. But I can hear you because I'm standing right next to you. Maybe you should try sending a message from somewhere else. Hmm. Good point, Cody. Come in, Whirl. I need you to send a test message to Cody. Come on, Cody. Let's continue our system check elsewhere. Come in, Whirl. Heatwave and Cody, come in, Heatwave and... Oh. Um, Hoist, I'm not sure the test works if they're actually in the same room as me. We'll be in my office. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> peace at last. Testing, Heatwave and Cody, come in. This is Medics. Ugh, we can hear you. Um, actually, Heatwave, I didn't hear anything that time. Hmm. It works! Now we'll be able to use these talky squawkies on missions in Milford to help us avoid human detection. Maybe. When they've been properly tested and our recruits have been trained to use them, new things must be treated with extra care. You really shouldn't be in bot form this close to Milford. You might be seen. Relax. Heatwave chose today for this mission because it's so quiet. All the humans are at the Milford Founders Festival show in the arena. I heard they play the Milford Anthem to fireworks at the end. I want to see that. And we will, from a safe distance. That was the last one. Good work. Now it's time to return to the Academy and... Hotshot? Relax, the cars are gone. The people must be at the show. Besides, how often do we get to play with puppies? Retrieve! I believe the correct term is fetch. These pups are amazing. It doesn't matter where the stick goes. They always seem to find it. We should get back to base. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. One second. Ah, oh, told ya. Amazing. We will be late. Okay. See ya, Shep. See ya, Lou. Testing, Hotshot and Wedge, come in. Testing. We can hear you, Hoist. Oh, hold on, Hoist. There seems to be a disturbance at the Milford Hill Farm. Maybe we should go and investigate. I could do with your help back here, Hotshot. I want to spend the whole morning running tests over the Academy speaker system. The whole morning? Hand me that walkie, talky, squawky thingamabot. Hotshot, it is vital that you investigate. In fact, it is so important that I shall send your fellow students to help immediately. Take all the time you need. You can continue testing these things tomorrow or possibly next month. They seem to have calmed down. I wonder what spooked them. Hello, Shep. There's the farm. <gasps> the farmer's back. I guess he didn't go to the Founders show. We need to warn Hotshot and Wedge. I'll use my talky squawky system. I didn't think Heatwave wanted us using that in the field until it'd been properly tested. He'd understand. This is an emergency. Wow, those pups can find that stick anywhere. Watch out, Hotshot. There's a human approaching right now. <laughs> Oh, no, Wedge, shut the gate. Oh, I really shouldn't have left that open. Huh? That was close. We need to get those dogs back before the farmer realizes they're missing. I don't see how we can. The dogs ran towards Milford. 
Milford is quiet today because of the festival. And we've got my new talkie squawkies, so we can warn each other before any humans see us. Rescue bot recruits, roll out. We need to move quickly. Once the festival show ends, the crowds will empty out of the stadium and fill the streets. But it will take hours to search the city. We'll have a better chance if we split up. Wedge and I know what the puppies look like, so we should each lead a team. And remember, use your talkie squawkies to stay in touch. show once where an officer tried to think like the person they were trying to find. So, if you guys were a dog, where would you go? Hmm, is there a squeaky toy store in Milford? <gasps> hey, they remember me. Oh, smart doggies, I'm pleased to see you guys. We should let the others know we found them. Wedge, medics, this is Hoist. We've located the missing dogs. Hey, come back! Uh, scratch that. We did have them. Hmm, huh. you don't think... No time for thinking, Whirl. We have to catch those pups. We're chasing them down Main Street. Ugh, if they didn't keep running down alleyways, we could use our vehicle forms. They're way faster than us. There's no way we'll catch them before. Do you mind, Hoist? The Gloombot commentary is not helping. Sorry. Whoa, shh. Nobody spooked them. I'll let the others know. Hoist, wait. I think it's the talkie squawkies that are upsetting them. Whirl, that's highly unlikely. <laughs> Wedge, medics, we've located. Oh, where are the dogs? I thought you had them. They ran off again. It looks like my new comm system is the problem. I guess this is why Heatwave said it's important to be careful when trying new things. Come on, they can't have gone far. And we know how to stop them from running away this time. Okay, all we have to do now is stay off Hoist's dog-scaring devices and take them back to the farm. But. Does anyone know where we are? Hmm. We were running around so much, I lost track. It's okay. We can just use our regular comm system to contact the Academy and call a ground bridge. Actually, uh, we can't. I had to disconnect our old system to test the new one. I have to be back at the Academy to reactivate it. So how do we find our way home? We must act quickly. That's the Milford Anthem. It's the cue for the fireworks and the end of the festival show. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful with my new talkie squawkies. It's my fault we don't know the way home. Don't worry. We might not know the way, but I know someone who does. Huh? huh? Shep, Lou, <laughs> fetch the stick. <laughs> Rescue bot recruits, roll out. them. Transform! We did it! We got them home! I can't wait to tell Heatwave! Um... Oh, right. Maybe I'll tell him in person. So you were right, Heatwave. I should have been more careful with my system. Then you all learned a valuable lesson. But I'm interested, Hoist. What human tech did you base your talkie squawkies on? This, a device that makes a sound outside the range of human hearing. Hoist, that's a dog whistle. So that's why all the dogs got excitable. 
Now that's loud. Cut it out! <laughs> Looks like that's not just a dog whistle. It's a bot whistle, too. <laughs> <laughs>